Town Center. In just a few minutes, I'm about to meet an incredible producer of an incredible film. Yes, I did say an incredible film. Today, I have a very special guest. He's the producer of the movie called The First Grader. It's about a Kenyan man who wants to go back to learn to read and write at 84 years old. Yes, 84 years old. It's an incredible, of an incredible film. It's an inspiring story, touching, it has emotional touch where you can connect to the uh, to the character. So I think it's a great movie, and Mr. Marugi was an amazing, amazing inspiration to everyone. And I think it's a must movie for everyone to see. One. Hi, everyone. This is JJ. I'm here with the producer of the first grader, Sam Foyer, and I'm here to talk a little bit about the movie, which is so inspiring and uplifting, as Variety had quoted. Um, tell us about the movie and some of your thoughts. It started as an article in the LA Times. Actually, it was the New York Times, but the LA Times took the article from the LA Times. This was the first time that I saw it. It was on Sunday. And I uh, was very inspired by the story of an 84-year-old man who goes to elementary school for the first time in his life. And I was like, wow, 84. You know, I remember just growing up in Israel, I would always cry and whine about how I stopped playing guitar when I was 12, or I didn't continue with piano lessons or Spanish. Or, and I, it's too late, it's too late, it's too late. And you always just, life goes by you, and you don't take chances of certain opportunities and he took a chance he could never afford to go to school before and in 2003 the Kenyan government offered free primary education to all the citizens in Kenya all he had to do was show up with a birth certificate and he's like now's my opportunity to finally go to school even at 84 and I was like this is amazing yeah this is amazing so and so this it was article very inspiring and it was it was something that I was like it, 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 he was Kenyan it took place in Kenya but it wasn't African it was in Kenyan it was human and it's something that all of us can relate to around the world I mean we were the first film to win an Audience Choice Award in the Middle East. That's exciting. It's amazing. Yeah. 3,000 people in Qatar were on their feet, standing ovation, crying. Mm -hmm. We were got the award from Robert De Niro, which was amazing for me because he's one of my heroes. <laughs> and um, <laughs> are you talking to me? <laughs> and then um, and uh, we, we closed the Guadalajara Film Festival, which was 2,000 Mexicans who don't even, most of them don't even speak English. It was subtitled. And they were crying. And they just relate to this amazing story of the human spirit which can conquer all. this you positive know? story that's coming out of Africa, not about genocide, not about you know rape or AIDS or anything of that nature. It's something positive, something that we all want to cling on to, the hope of a better world, and uh, through the eyes of, of the Kenyan people. And it was, um, it's a beautiful story. It, it really is a beautiful story. So it's inspiring, so come see it. And come see the first grader. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean 4, mm -hmm. I mean, seriously, they're falling asleep in it. <laughs> Hangover 2 is to go rent the Hangover 1, watch it. You'll laugh more than watching the second one. Trust me. Go watch the first grader. You'll love it. Not only do we need your support, but we need the story to get out. It's an amazing story. Yeah, but again, not only is it never late to dream, it's never late, too late to dream and make those dreams a reality no matter what age. So to all you people out there, if you got a dream, go for it. <laughs> Another exclusive for this, Justin. Thanks, Sam, for joining Pleasure. me. Pleasure. Thank you.